Again, guys, I think BJ at Brown Farm said it right. These tractors are not made to go 70 mile an hour like your cars. These tractors are made to go 25 max. They're wide, they're 15 feet wide, they're long, 40 feet long in this case. They're not designed to go fast, and they're not designed to see around it very well. So this time of year, guys, just please be safe. If it takes an extra five minutes, guys, keep in mind that's so much less than if you were driving in town. Please, for the sake of our families, your families, we're trying to do a job, feed you guys. Please be safe when passing farm equipment. Don't just pass in a double line and don't run us off the road. We're trying to help you guys. We're trying to feed the world and we're trying to do it as safe and efficiently as possible. Thank you guys. Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartling Family Farms. Today, it's Wednesday, October 16th, and I just got up to the farm. It's kind of a little cloudy, but you know what? We're gonna start, it seems like a great day to heart, start harvest 2016. What? 2019, so. Let's go ahead and see what they're going on. I hear the combine running, so let's get moving. I'm not sure what they're doing, but my dad's here. So there's troubleshooting the combine right now. We got a real cylinder that's probably bad. 882 grain cart has some crap in it, so I got to move all this stuff to get at it so I can go drop the sump, clean that door out. One bad thing about forgetting your belt, other than the fact that it keeps sagging down, is I can't bring my pliers. This stinks. Let's start warming stuff up. Weak. Cross the fingers. Beautiful. Now let's go fire up the 8050. like 50 degrees out right now. I'm gonna get a coat on a little later, but move some equipment around now that they're warming up. We're gonna combine some beans today. Not with this thing though, because this thing's still got work left. Pull this girl in the corner. We'll move the combine over. All right, let's back this vine up. Back this vine up and scoot it over out of the way. These mirrors stink. We need to get new ones, bigger ones, we should say. But it'll work for now. All right, he just got out of the combine, so now I just got to back the 8050 up. Get this thing out without hitting the wall, would be good. Then I take this thing out in the field, dump the sumps. So we're going to be starting bean harvest today, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, I really hope this air is just bat dumped. Butt warmer is going to be very useful this year. Just turn it on. Yeah, I get the important stuff, try to raise up the seat, and then we'll back this thing out. I gotta start angling my tractor. I always hate backing up against cement walls. Just don't wanna hit anything. I think we're good. This grain cart is so big, that's why I really want to get a camera on these grain carts. I mean, I can't see around it whatsoever. Going down the road always sucks. It's kind of miserable, but we've dealt with it for plenty of years. Won't last for a little while longer, but I think I'm gonna look at getting cameras maybe this winter. So again, any cameras you guys recommend? I know you guys said Dakota Micro. Any other good ones? So I'll hey, take this thing out to the field and dump it. Dump the sump, I should say. When I say sump, at the bottom where this our single auger comes from, I'll kind of explain. I'll explain how this cart works, but the bottom of the auger, where the auger takes the grain off the bottom of the cart, always collects with crap. So I'm gonna go clean that out. Now I'm gonna raise the auger up because it's a single auger. Raise it up and dump the sump out in the field. Sorry, 340, you're not gonna be used. At least for right now, you're not. What you might actually do is put the 340 on the big cart later this year. This, if this 8050 keeps running, put the 340 on the big cart and maybe do some tillage with the Steiger. Who knows? That's what I'd like to see happen. All right, so auger's up in the air. How this cart works is just got one big long auger. 
goes down to the center of the cart and then when you want to open it there's a gate right there that just opens up lets more and more grain in the auger the auger spins the faster you spin the more it can kick out and then it's got a spot up there that can twist it's a really nice cart. It's very simple. It's all I like them. These Brent carts, I think they're made by Underfirth Manufacturing. Actually, I know they're made by Underfirth Manufacturing. Great carts. We've had this one for, this is its ninth harvest season. We haven't had to do hardly anything to it. Grease it. And I believe we put poly on the augers because the augers are going, went, went really sharp. So we put poly on the augers to extend their life. And other than that, this has been great carts. So this one's a nine-year-old, ninth harvest season. The other one's probably going on its third or fourth. So. These carts are awesome. We like to keep them for about 10 years. So might be looking to upgrade this one in the next couple years. Maybe even next year. Cross the fingers. I want to get an 1100 bushel cart. This is going to be fun. Oh, man. Oh, oh I got it. So this is the sump. I'm going to crank this. You can kind of see there's a lot of crap in there. Like just on the bottom. So I'm going to crank this door and open it up. Woo! Yummy. Look at the, that's a pile that we put on there. I can't describe how much this stinks. Yum, smells disgusting. Well, we got a lot of it done. As you guys can saw, that's, that metal is really, really sh sharp. So we put the poly on there to give us more life. So now, let's turn it on, fire it up, and empty what's in the, the up auger. And we'll come back and shut it. Oh, butt warmers. Best invention ever. Changed my mind. All right, now I'm gonna flip the switch up. Turn the PTO on. There's dump stuff dumping out the bottom there. See if there's anything that comes out like a bird's nest or something. See how spout turns? Oh yeah, there's some crap coming out. Try to get as much of this crap out as possible. That way when our new beans come in, in an hour or so, we're ready to roll. I don't wanna go back outside. It's so cold. Uh, all right, time to close this down now. So all that crap that came out, that is stuff we do not want in our beans. And that's why we shut it. go now the sump is closed and locked we're good to go so now I'll pull this thing back to the shop lower the auger down shut her off let's get the combine ready to roll <laughs> it stinks it is not going in the nice cab all right let's go it's even got carpet in it that's pretty fancy it's about broke the wooden handle that can be fixed. All right, let's dump the auger. Let the auger dump down, I should say. Let's start going. All right, you guys, I'm gonna try and grind off these. I'm gonna try to make a cylinder stop. You'll kind of see what I mean in a bit. So we think the cylinder's bad. So I just made a little stop. It's already setting on there. Yeah, I might I might grind off an inch. So what we're doing there is we got a bad cylinder, so I'm just kind of retrofitting a cylinder stop. I'm gonna take a little inch and a half off of there 
just to kind of see what it does, see if it'll help us out at all. Buzz some of it off, so now we'll see what it looks like. Oh, let's try that. So that one's pretty much useless. It only does like quarter inch. Let's see what this one does. It's definitely a little warm. Maybe because I just ground it. Go ahead and go up, bun. So now I'm just gonna drill a hole, put a zip tie through it, and then call it good enough for the girls I run with. Farmer engineering right there. Well, that actually worked out pretty well. Let's go take a look at it. Let's try one. Just propped it up another inch and a half. Pull that bolt out. So much junk. All right, so before we go in and eat, I'm gonna bring the skid loader over next door. I'm gonna bring the skid loader over next door so my dad can start scooping out some stuff while we eat, scooping out some nasty beans. So you'll see. He had some nasty hung up beans in here, so we're gonna shovel this out real quick. All right, time to shovel. Got the bit all cleaned out. There's all the crap in it. How are we gonna go eat? Door stay open? Yeah, I'll leave it open. Hi, Gib. Hi, Gib. Hi, Gib. I love cows. Just got done eating. So now, go get the combine rolling. All right, so we just got done eating. Ryan's gonna get the combine ready to roll. I'm gonna go dump this out in the field and then let's go set this combine and get moving. I apologize for the shakiness in this video. I have you guys between my legs. Ah, crud. What you guess made me did? Let's pile it up. Just trying to spread it out. Just kind of spread out, so now let's head back. I hate this thing just drifts back by itself. Got a hydraulic leak we're trying to figure out. So what happened was, name that, we basically have been moving the reel lift up and down the whole time, and the hydraulics, hydraulic lines to power everything on the right side of the head goes through the main tube, and there's no way to look at it. Terrible serviceability, but it's a 20-year-old head, 25-year-old head. So we are going to probably have to not move the reel and just run it as it run as it is. Just if we don't put any if we don't put any hydraulic pressure to that line, we should be fine. So I'm thinking that's what we're gonna try. But I'm cold. It's like 45, 48 degrees right now. I need. A, I'm just in a sweatshirt. I'm getting my coat on because I'm a little wuss. That's better. So let's see what they're gonna decide and go from there. So while Bun and Brian are blowing that off and getting it ready to go, I'm gonna go grab the 190, hook on to the Brent 644 wagon, gravity wagon, because I think what we're gonna do is either my dad's gonna run the wagon back and forth, or Bun's just gonna come in with the come in with the grain cart with the with the beans. All right, let's go. So we're gonna grab that gravity wagon. Six skills, bruh. My dad's gonna come hook me up. We got the brand new Case Terraflex 30 foot auger head. There goes a weight cart. Calibrate the yield monitors. There's our eight row corn head that goes on the 25. The eight row drago that goes on the, either the 70 or the chopper. And a bunch of other stuff. Aren't I good? We'll have to get a bigger one, probably. What? We'll have to get a bigger one. I think it's over at the shop. We'll pull it out. No, it'll fine. It'll be fine. We'll just get a bigger one at the shop. So 
that gravity wagon pin is just a tick too small, so we'll have to get a bigger one. But hey, it's go time! Woo woo! Yeah, I just put the bigger pin in. Now this thing's ready to roll. So I'll pull it out of the way. Check fuel. This thing's fine. Pull it out of the way. And we'll see if the combine's ready to go. We'll go set the combine, then I'll go hook up set up an auger. All right, all right, all right. Time to pull this truck in here, get the seven out. Get the seven out, check it over, check engine oil. And then we're gonna head out back. Now, because it's a narrow nose track that we can get in here in pretty tight places, I'm gonna pull this, try and pull this thing out. Oh, look at that. She can just turn on a dime. up to that auger. I think it's back there. Yep, it's that yellow one. See, people in Iowa are friendly. Fun thing about augers, they're 70 feet long usually. So they're really fun to drive. I gotta swing this wide, bring this over the shop, put air on that back tire, and then go help Brian get set up and rolling, and come back, set the sauger up, then come back and dump beans. There goes Brian. This tire has seen better days. Yep, no sense keeping that thing on there. Got all the tires aired up on that auger, ran it, probably throw some grease at it before I hook up to the bin. My dad just got in the in the grain cart. He's going to head out there. Bun, I think, is riding out with Brian. And I'm going to take the pickup out there. And of course, this truck won't start. So I got to give it some go-go juice again. I got to reach, somehow reach around and press the start button while being able to put some go-go juice in it. All oh, you guys are gonna look up here. I hope that was cool. Sorry, sorry for the mic. First beans of the year. There they are. These actually look pretty decently dry, so hopefully they'll roll. The ground doesn't look too bad behind it. Nothing unthreshed. I don't see any beans. There's one bean on the ground. But not very many beans on the ground. That's good. We're just doing some tests right now. Just trying to get the machine set. Hold up, hold up. I might have too much footage guys. I just looked at the footage and it sounds like, it looks like I have 40 minutes of footage. So I might, I'm just gonna record this intro outro just in case. So guys, hope you enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course guys, as always, ta ta for now and stay tuned to part two, where you got drone footage, you got chopping, and you got more bean harvesting, okay, bye.